Hey everybody, what's happening? Son of a Silver Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 6th day of June, July actually, 2022, I'm going to take you over to AppMix so we can check out those live spot prices. But before we do that, I'd like to welcome you over to Good Morning to You with Tiny Numismatics, number 176. Only 24 more to 200. Can you believe it? Now, here we are, AppMix. Gold is up 40 cents to 1774.20. Silver's up a nickel, big old fat nickel, to 1949. Platinum down four dollars twenty cents to eight seventy five fifty, and palladium up eleven dollars twenty cents to nineteen eighty three. Even Stephen. Now, you may or may not have got an email. You probably should have if you are enrolled. And that is for the uncirculated coin set from twenty twenty two, and it says product limit of two hundred and fifty thousand. Now that is pretty low, and um, that really just kind of. I mean, if you look at all the annual sets from the United States Mint uh, starting in about 2015, 2016, they are tapering off, and kind of um, well, they just don't seem as popular or as numerous as they have in the past and let's face it um in my opinion i believe this is where registry sets are born so i think that's really important especially for the american women quarters and if you have a good eye well good luck to you now this is something i've talked about for quite some time oh uh, also you know listen the email came out so you'll want to make sure if you are enrolled in this that your um, payment information is up to date make sure it doesn't um uh, expire before that july 12th date 2022 at noon in fact i believe that's what uh just a week from yesterday so it's coming up fast folks so if you want this make sure your information is all up to date and correct now over here this is coinweek.com and there's an article by anti-counterfeiting educational foundation this is july 1st 2022 and there's a proliferation and that means well it's anti-counter, you'll see, it's everywhere. Anti-counterfeiting educational foundation warns hundreds of websites selling fake coins. Now, just because there's hundreds of websites selling fake coins doesn't necessarily mean that there's hundreds of different organizations selling these fake coins. It could be just, you know, a handful. And, um, you know, this is something I've touched on, um, I think, from the very beginning of this channel, you know, warning people of, you know, fake silver coins. I mean, they are out there. And if... Um, if, if you've been taken by this, you know, um, it's a burn. It doesn't feel good. And education never comes cheap. Okay. Here we go. Now, look at that. Look at that tube. Or look at that roll of uh, silver eagles. Is that the kind of a roll you want to buy? It says here, ACEF warns of fake precious metal and rare coins offered online and helps a Texas investor who became an unsuspecting victim. And then after this article, um, I'm going to show you another article from Coin Week uh, written by the same people on how to spot these particular fake coin deals. Now it says here, looking to buy gold and silver, Oliver, an investor in Texas, responded to advertisements on Facebook from two companies that touted exceptionally low introductory offer prices for silver and gold bullion coins. He paid $1,000 and is now trying to get his money back because the gold coin that, and oh my goodness, and all 50 silver coins he received are counterfeits apparently made in China, according to the nonprofit ACE. F, okay now i don't know how he figured out that these were um fake uh silver coins was it uh fake precious metal as well um and, and then that's something you know i mean would you be okay so if you did get real real gold and real silver even though they're fakes uh would you be okay with that or would you want your money back yeah i probably want my money back even if it was 100 percent real three nines fine altogether i started suspecting they were not genuine when tracking information for my orders was in chinese said oliver that was a red flag. I also saw the same advertisement online with the same format and same pricing, but with a different company names. Yep, there you go. That's a red flag. When I received the orders, I thought I had gotten taken. And, uh, well, that's why he's getting his money back, right? Now, at the time he placed the order, a one-ounce United States Mint-produced American Gold Eagle would have been priced at about $1,950. He paid $499, but got a counterfeit. Yeah, so there it is. So you have to know what the current price of the item you're buying because if you're buying it for well let's say um a quarter of that you're probably getting a fake yeah now but got a counterfeit each of the 50 one ounce american silver eagle coins he had ordered should have sold for about 40 dollars each for a total of about two thousand dollars for 50 genuine examples oliver paid 499.98 for all 50 but received only fakes yikes he is now working with his credit card companies to reverse the charges and that's right so um credit cards offer um a lot of recourse to getting burned debit cards do not that's that's you gave them your pin you paid for it same as cash now if you have credit cards you pay in credit cards you actually have a little bit of recourse you can go to your credit card company and go yeah um i got taken and i'm not proud about it but at least i've got you in my corner and they will go to bat for you 
Yeah, I think they're called chargebacks is what they're called. Thank you. Um, interesting information. Now, Chinese counterfeits are blowing up the web, selling fake silver and gold coins that may look like the real thing at first glance, but certainly are not. We've seen suspicious ads posted on many platforms, including Amazon and Facebook, with links to the fraudsters' websites, cautioned Doug Davis, AC ACAF, ACEF anti-counterfeiting director. The counterfeits and their accomplishments, the counterfeiters and their accomplices are heavily marketing fakes through social media and online coin dealer websites. We are now tracking more than 300 websites selling fakes, many of them apparently operated by the same individuals or companies, but often under different company names. Some even copy the exact wording and actual photos from legitimate dealers web pages. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And I think people actually do that to other people. They take the photograph of a real person and pretend to be that person. It's really tell you the internet, huh? Wow. Uh, remember, if you don't know precious metals or rare coins, you better know a reputable seller. That's absolutely true. Such as experts affiliated with the accredited precious metals dealer program, APMD, or the professional numismist guild. I probably said that wrong. Advertise Davis. Uh, members of both PNG and APMD must follow a strict code of ethics in the buying and selling of numismatic merchandise. The foundation alerting the Secret Service about the fakes as part of the organization's ongoing assistance to federal, state, and local law enforcement, as well as the prosecutors to fight counterfeiting and the sales of counterfeit coins. Now, it says here, the important work of the ACEF and its volunteer task force of rare coin and precious metals experts is supported entirely by donations. So, um, think about that. It's not even a government agency that, I mean, why wouldn't the United States government care if somebody's making the um, American Silver Eagles? I mean, yeah, okay, we alert the Secret Service about them, but why isn't, why aren't, why don't they alert us? Is that backwards or, I don't know. Anyway, so here's some tips on how to um, avoid some of those fraudulent Facebook pop-up ad, pop ads that, um, well, that are advertising these fake American Silver Eagles. Now it says here, um, this is by any counterfeiting educational foundation. This is from September 24, 2021. And like I said, you know, this is something that I've been addressing since we started this page and um, or this channel. And, and, and really, you know, you have to be careful. And this, well, these are the steps you can take in order to mitigate some of the risks here. Online scams related to counterfeit coins and precious metals continue to escalate. And a major tool used by these fraudsters is the utilization of Facebook pop-up ads to scam unsuspecting victims, according to the nonprofit ACEF. Now, what does Facebook do about this, right? I mean, uh, you know, you keep seeing them, uh, you know, and, it, and is it a game of whack-a-mole, you know? So AC, ACEF, ACEF, and its working group, the Anti-Counterfeiting Task Force, have seen an increase in reports of fraudulent Facebook pop-up ads selling counterfeit coins and precious metals, said Doug Davis. Although there are other social media and e-commerce platforms selling counterfeits, Facebook has become the predominant choice for these fraudsters. Now, I'm going to go here. It says here, to help... Um, the general public buying ACTF dissects a fraudulent Facebook pop-up ad and identifies the many red flags. And now I'm going to read these bullet points real quick here and tell you, um, this is basically how it all works out. These are the professionals, okay? These guys know what they're talking about. Now, when checking your Facebook page, an ad pops up selling a 2021 one ounce US Silver Eagle. You click on the ad and it takes you to a different website showing a picture of a 2021 Eagle with a background picture of a tube of Eagles in a green top tube. The offer is buy seven, get three free for $48.99. The ad also indicates that the offer is 50% off. If you would like to purchase just one, the cost is $6.99. Warning, the price is well under the actual market value. That's right. So you have to know the market value of the thing you're buying. Otherwise, you're probably going to get hosed now you got to know the actual market value for the genuine one ounce silver eagles and if it's too good to be true and if it's too good to be true yeah you should probably keep on keeping on the site utilizes a gallery of photos uh, that usually include real coins, mint tubes, and large monster boxes to show that the coins came from the U.S. Mint. Some fraudulent sites use a combination of real and counterfeit coins within the photo gallery. This is prevalent in sites selling Morgan dollars. Can you believe it? Even those are highly counterfeited as well. Some sites will use videos to show the coin weighing correctly, having the correct dimensions, and not adhering to a magnet as would a counterfeit made of magnetic based metal. So we've tested it for you. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. A recent site included a video of a silver eagle coins being inserted into a US mint tube, placed in a monster box, and then loaded onto a pallet for delivery. But unsuspecting buyers instead likely would receive counterfeits. Fraudulent sites often use photos and videos of genuine coins to support the authenticity of their counterfeit coins or um, spurious, wow, precious metal offerings. 
buy two or more of the same items, get an additional deep discount on top of already impossible low prices. Folks, there it is. If it's too good to be true, it is. And you've got to know the price of the item you want to buy, at least the general range, the market value. Now, when reading the description highlights of the coin or precious metal for sale, there are often grammatical spelling or other major mistakes in the text of the advertisement. And you really um, want to pay close attention to that. Now, the site will also show other coins and precious metals for sale at below market prices on other platforms. So there it is. Now, there's some other red flags here. Um, I'm going to leave this in the um, link below or in the description below. That way you can read that. Um, you know what? Let me just bust these out real quick. The following tips can help you avoid the scams of online coin and precious metal counterfeiting. Because I have time. Buy from a reputable dealer, such as a member of PG, accredited precious metals dealers, APMD, and the American Numismatic Association, or your local trusted dealer. There you go, your local coin shop right there. Buy from the company's official website, absolutely. Do your homework when shopping on e commerce platforms. Utilize the red flags described above to ensure the legitimacy of the seller. And do not, I repeat, do not be influenced by below market low prices and what we're going to be seeing probably soon and i would imagine this is going to be happening a lot more so we see silver the ounces of silver the price of silver the ask the bid whatever you want to call it is going lower we're under 20 dollars. we're maybe at like 1950 or 1850 soon who knows but with that being the case a lot of people are going to be like yeah this is a really good price it's really low because silver's going lower i don't have to pay the high premiums anymore well Chances are you're probably going to have to pay the high premium still, I would imagine. Uh, imagine if you went to Jam Billion, Atmex, look at the uh, premiums on American Silver Eagles. They're probably still 12 to $15, if you can believe that. Um, at least, what, $30? And spots, what, 18 Yeah, there you go. See, it says it all right there. Premium product, you're going to pay a premium for it. If there's no premium for it, it's probably not real. There it is. So listen, I've got to do my plus ones today, and they're fantastic. Check this out. First one is not loading. Yeah, there it is. It's Google Dolls. Google Dolls. Name. All right, that's a good one. And this one here, this is even bigger. Bam! Look at this. Mary Ann Rodmacher said this, and uh, she says here, Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Do you have that voice? I do. Listen, so there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you're going to see, please subscribe to the channel. It's free. Son of a Silver Stacker, out.